Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. PKRDAP and Pati Amana Nagara have decided to form a new opposition coalition named Pakatan Harapan. And don't worry people, if you don't like the name, I'm sure they'll change it in a few years after they throw a fit again like a spoiled child. So, what was the first announcement as a new coalition? I'm sure it was something really meaningful. It was that Anwar Ibrahim would be its candidate for the post of Prime Minister. Well, of course, I'm starting to think Pakatan Harapan is just short for Pakatan Harapan Anwar. A federal grand jury in the United States is examining allegations of corruption involving Prime Minister Najib Abdul Razak and a number of individuals close to him. According to the New York Times, the inquiry is focused on properties in the U.S. that were purchased in recent years by shell companies that belong to the Prime Minister's stepson, Riza Aziz, as well as other real estates connected to a close family friend. The inquiry is being held by a unit of the U.S. Justice Department that investigates international corruption. Speaker has dared Amno Youth Chief Kari Jamaluddin to make a stand on whether he supports Prime Minister Najib Abdul Razak's defence of the racist Red Shirt Rally. Najib had thanked the National Silat Federation, PASAKA, for organising the Himpunan Rakyat Bersatu to uphold Malay dignity. Najib said the rally was proof that Malays could gather peacefully without provocation. <laughs> One MDB today expressed disappointment with Bank Nagara Governor Zeti Akta Aziz for singling out the sovereign fund for the current weakness of the ringgit. Najib and AMNO's Executive Secretary Abdul Rao Yusuf have filed an application to strike out former Langkawi Wanita AMNO member Anna Saudin suit. Lawyer Mohammad Hafarizan Harun confirmed that the application had been filed but refused to divulge further details. Indonesia has ordered four companies to suspend operations for causing forest fires, which have sent smoke across Southeast Asia. Indonesian Environment Ministry Secretary General Bambang Hendroyono said three plantation companies have had their permits frozen and one forestry company has had its license revoked. And that's our fact sheet for today. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe and leave a comment. Um, I'm Prasad Michael. Thanks, thanks for watching.